This week is Arizona Bioscience Week, and AZ Bio President and CEO Joan Kerber Walker, she is here to spotlight the many ways we can all join the celebration. Good to have you with us. It's great to be back so, here. people who are watching, they're saying, I'm not a scientist, I'm not a doctor, I'm not an innovator. But you said we all play a part in making sure that medical breakthroughs happen and inventions happen in our neighborhood. What can folks expect? Absolutely. We're talking about five days, 11 events from the internet as well as in person where people can get engaged and learn about life-saving innovation. And that's important. It is, because we're all part of this innovation ecosystem, from the patients, to the people in the clinical trials, to the researchers, to the students, to their teachers too. And there's so many opportunities for educators and students. Let's highlight some of the big events you're gonna be throwing. There are some really cool things. The Arizona Technology Council and the SciTech Festival will be on Tuesday at the Arizona Science Center. And then on Wednesday, students have been working on science projects and they'll present them at the AZ Bio Awards and compete for scholarships. Let's talk about the opportunities for the life science investors. First off, what is a life science investor and why is that so critical? It's really simple. If we want health innovations, we need the money to create them. Did you know that a new drug can cost as much as $3 billion mm -hmm. to create? And so, um, there's a whole range of investors, from angel investors, people like you and me who decide that they want to invest into something and see it start to grow. As it gets bigger, they need bigger checks. That's where venture capitalists come in and they write checks for millions of dollars. But at the end of the day, we need to get those new innovations to the patient and that's where strategic investors or partners come in. Now, a great example of a strategic investor partnership was Pfizer and BioNTech. And we all know how important those vaccines were. Absolutely. And I don't think people realize, Joan, how many inventions are made right here in the Valley. Absolutely. We make here in Arizona the total artificial heart. Becton Dickinson, or BD, creates catheters to help cancer patients. That's huge. Medtronic makes the parts for pacemakers and so many more things. And so when we support health innovation in Arizona, we're helping save the lives of our friends, our neighbors, and people all around the world. Yeah, one of the most important parts about Arizona Bioscience Week to me is this component called the voice of the patient. And this is where all of us can get involved in, and talk about how special that is. So in the life science pa industry, patients are our reason for being. They're why we do what we do. And so often we talk to the patient as doctors, as innovators, and tell them what they need. We need to listen to what they need. And Voice of the Patient is a full morning at the new Creighton University Medical Center where all of the speakers are patients. Mm. And we are so excited to hear about life science innovation from their perspective. Yeah, it, that's, it's, so, it's so important. Thousands are expected to attend. There's something for everyone over this week's celebration. Thank you for leading this. We appreciate you. And again, if you would like to learn more, there is something for you at Arizona Bioscience Week. You're gonna see a full lineup of events at azbio.org slash azbw2022.